today we're making homemade southern biscuits and we're making homemade sausage gravy and we're putting them together <laughs> yes now this is the epitome of breakfast comfort food. The epitome. <laughs> oh my, it just does not, it's the gold standard. It's the gold standard and it is my favorite I thing. Know, I think it's a lot of people's favorite. Oh. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My sausage and biscuits, gravy, love no, and love. I'm your gold standard. Oh, you're the gold standard. You are definitely that. And this is, you guys, we're doing biscuits and gravy. It's I so know good. so many people that are like, come knocking on the door. Yeah. Okay, let's get going. So I've got a, a skillet here. I got my trusty cast iron skillet. You can do this without sausage if you're not a big fan of a breakfast sausage but I um love that's not even a yeah so an option that's well in our for house it, it, for the loon it's, it's not <laughs> but you can do this with just plain old meatless gravy um anyway and that's just breakfast sausage. this is yeah. breakfast sausage i got it's, it comes in those little tubes it's like a, a pound of sausage you may not want to use all of this it, it does produce a decent amount of sausage so if you like your gravy really loaded with sausage you can use all of it if you want to use maybe a little less of it, use less of it and save it for, I don't know, munching on. Okay, <laughs> so while this is cooking, we're going to talk about these biscuits, y'all. You guys. These are, look at this. Um, I think I'm just going to eat it's a this thing right of now. I know, it's ridiculous. So let me tell you, you probably, we made these for you guys. We showed you how to make them not too long ago. So let me just recap, and we're going to walk through that real yeah. quick if I can do that. Yeah, and do it quickly. While I'm stirring my sausage. <laughs> okay, so we, start, we need to shred our very, very cold butter. So I got two sticks of butter that I had had in the freezer, and then I just got my box grater, and I grated half of one stick, and then I grated half of the other stick. And that equals one stick. And just doing half and half, it makes it easier, um, you know, to hold them and to grab them. And then I've got a nice large bowl, and I'm going to have two and a quarter cups of white lily self-rising flour. If you can find white lily self-rising flour, go for it. If not, I've got what instructions on how you can use just regular all-purpose flour. Um, and then, then we're going to add the butter to the that. Butter, yeah. And then I'm just, I use my hands to just kind of just gently incorporate that. You don't want to overwork it too much. And you don't want to start to melt that butter with your warm, you lovely hands. You didn't use your hands. hands. You used a, a spoon. I used a spoon in just a moment. Um, you can use a spoon, but anyway. Then I stuck it in the <laughs> freezer. <laughs> Wesley, I, he sits there and watches me, you know, gawking at I do, it. so I can tell him when he said something wrong. Okay, so 15 <laughs> minutes later, um, we, we then took, got that out of the freezer, and I had a cup of very cold buttermilk. And that is when I used a wooden spoon oh. to start gently pouring that in and stirring it until, oops. yes, oops, <laughs> until it, it uh, gets in incorporated and it's going to be it's really sticky batter you can do that with your hands but you're going to get a mitt of mittens of you know a batter yeah, on them. A batter so you, mitten. and then what you're going to do is you're going to after it all comes together you're going to dump it out onto a surface that's been lightly floured and um, then you can just I would get your hands kind of floury because like I said kind it's of floury sticky. a lot of flour yeah, yeah get, your, get yeah. some flour on your hands and then just press that down press it down into like a nice rectangle and um, then use either a bench scraper or a, a knife just to cut that into four quarters and then stack them. Stack just put one right after another and then we'll press it down, them. squish it down. Do that again two more times. That helps them get really, really nice and flaky. Gets the layers. Yeah. yeah. Then what we're going to do is, this is almost cooked. That's then great. What, what we're going to do is we're going to get out our, uh, our butter biscuit, cutter or biscuit, our biscuit cutter. cutter and we are going to very carefully just go straight down and cut a biscuit. Now you're not going to want to turn it and twist it. You're going to be tempted to. No twerking. No twerking of the biscuits. Your biscuit. Yeah, do not twerk your biscuits. <laughs> and as tempted as you will be, and do that, and you know, with as much dough as you can. We keep them nice and thick, um, so we've got probably about oh, it's probably almost an inch thick of dough, and then. You know, we put those on a cutting, no, a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Then pull the, together the scraps, make another nice thick layer of yeah. dough. When you're going to do that, and you're going to get anywhere, really, probably from. We went really thick, so you're going to. We, I think, we got what seven. seven, seven biscuits. You, if you go a little thinner, you can get like uh, up to nine biscuits. Okay, and then we want everything really cold, so we put it back, back in, in the, the freezer fridge. for 15 minutes. I pre oh, freezer, yeah, freezer, and I preheated my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. 
high. After 15 minutes, I brush just a little bit of a melted just, butter on there. Yeah, just you don't a want it, little you don't, bit. A little bit because you don't want too much heat on those cold biscuits. Then they go in the oven for like 14 to 15 minutes, turn them about halfway through, and then bring them out, and you're not going to believe how yeah. beautiful they are. And add some more butter. You add some more butter, <laughs> and, then you, and then you top them. And you them get with these wonderful, oh, they're are the, just amazing. They're incredible. So, all right, so look, we've done, we've done this. Yay. Um, so I'm just going to, oh, let's see, let's do yeah, it Yeah, there here. you go. This one's the fresh one. So now we're going to make the gravy, and um, you, you're going to need some grease to do that. And when I find, when I cook this, this breakfast sausage, it doesn't render enough grease. So what I like to use then, and it's okay if there's some of these particles down in the bottom. Yeah, it's still that's gonna be, good. It's still that's gonna be super stuff. delicious. Yeah. Um, so I save whenever we make bacon, and we make bacon a lot. <laughs> yes. And um, just save that grease because it's gonna be super <laughs> useful uh, when you're making gravy. If you don't have bacon grease, I've got like three tablespoons here. Oh, let me get this. Um, then you can just, you, you can even, any kind of fat. You can use butter. Um, you, I would use butter over, say, vegetable oil. But next time you say make bacon, just save the fat, and you're save gonna save your bacon fat. Save folks. it. I used to. I mean, I used to use it all the time. We oh. don't actually. We don't make this bacon as much as we used to when we were younger. Yeah. We, now would, that we've gotten older, we're 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 a little more selective when we use the bacon. Yeah. I, I mean, I put it on everything. I, no, no, but like when you make like German potatoes, oh, you, wow. you fry those potatoes up in the uh, bacon grease, oh. and it's so good. Um, now it's sort of like a special occasion when you're doing something really great, like biscuit. <laughs> Gravy. Gravy, y'all. Okay. Oh. Okay. So now we have heated this up, Yay. and now I have got. So that was like three tablespoons. So now we're going to do about three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And uh, what that's going to do, it's going to create a roux. <laughs> a roux, and that's going to act as. So loud. Yeah, roux. Every roux in the <laughs> world just said hello. Uh, who, yes. So that's going to make. Um, a, this is your thickener. Yeah. And this is what you do to make wonderful, beautiful gravy. And I've always, <laughs> you really cracked yourself yeah, up I with did. the old, it never gets old. How many times have we done that yeah. joke? <laughs> never gets old. Okay, so now you definitely want to cook this. I always say it sort of resembles like really wet sand. Um, but what you want to do is you want to cook it. Uh, so for, it gets a little hot, like a little darker? It get, it, well, yeah. not you. this is going to be a, what they call a blonde roux. It's mm. not really, we're not going to make a dark roux. But you want to cook the, the taste of that raw uh, flour out of there. And um, so that should do it. So now right. we've got a cup and a half. I use a mix of whole milk and heavy cream. I think that's, that's the, the heavy cream. Milk. No, this is the heavy it doesn't, cream. That's the heavy cream. Do you so want the heavy cream first? Both, it doesn't matter. So okay. we're going to do a cup and a half of each. And while the loon is doing that. This is the cream. That's tell. the cream, yeah. yeah. So Look at that. Yeah. And then I'll just go ahead and do the oh, milk okay. too because you're taking forever. Oh, sorry. So I thought it, you wanted me to do it gradually. No, uh, well, this is gradually. You, oh, okay. you don't have to do it like, you know, <laughs> like in forever, like an hour to do it. Anyway, so now what's going to happen is you see that's completely yes, thank you. That's completely um, that roux has dissolved yes. into the into the cream, and it's just going to start to thicken and be gorgeous, um, like in no matter. I know, in a matter of seconds. time. Yeah. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and well, we're, I'm, we're just rocking and rolling here. Let's do it. So I've got a teaspoon of adobo seasoning, any kind of just seasoning to give it a little depth of flavor. You could use seasoned salt or you could just skip that if you want. I just think it gives a depth of flavor. That also though, that does have sodium, so you don't want to over salt it. Right. So I'm going to do another half a teaspoon of salt. Taste it after, you're, after it's done. See if you want a little more salt. Then I love cracked black or, I can't talk, <laughs> cracked black. black Pepper, pepper in my gravy. That's just classic um, southern style gravy. So I'm going to wow. add a whole teaspoon of that in there. Now I'm just going to get my trusty little wooden spoon. Get those bits up. And you just kind of keep stirring this until it turns into gravy. I'm going to do this until it's completely dissolved. You add in your as much sausage as you want. You open up those things and you're going to be in <laughs> heaven. Oh, look at that. And just like that, so nice we have a thick, beautiful nice gravy. Nice thick. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off now. Turn it out. Uh, if, you get, if you make this and you feel like your gravy has gotten too thick, it's really easy just to thin it out with a little more milk or a little more cream. So now I'm going to just stir in the sausage. I like sausage. I'm watching you. I know it. I know you're keeping an eye on me. Um, you know, you don't want it to become like, like 
almost like you know the, the ratio of sausage to gravy. It, it no longer is gravy. <laughs> right, right. It's like a chipped beef. Oh, or you could use a little more in there. Okay, all right, I'll do a little more. I know, I know how you. Oh have it. yeah. But I'm telling you, a lot of times, you know, you could. Uh, this gravy is so flavorful. You could even do it without mm. the sausage, but the sausage really does. This is like a truck stop uh, staple. <laughs> T tell me, <laughs> you're a truck stop that you well, grew up with. Yeah, I-90, I-90 truck stop. He um, comes from a family of truckers. Yeah, so. a long line of truckers. <laughs> so uh, I know good biscuits and gravy. Yeah, but you don't know. Yeah, I've had those they've before. Never, they've never been like yours. I mean, I, um, I don't know. These are, these, I'm not. You give I'm, them a run for their money. I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm not. It's, but I'm telling you, if you make these from scratch, you are going to be... Oh, in awe. it's amazing. All right, I am going to get myself a good biscuit here. Oh, there's a big one. Sorry, <laughs> getting a big biscuit. Yeah, yeah, and he I'm likes the big gonna, biscuits, but I uh, I cannot lie, so do I. Up. There it is. Look at how flaky that is, y'all. Oh, and it's still warm, Chris. Yay! Oh, you can make nice. these, the, the, make the biscuits the day before and then just reheat that. them in the microwave. That works I beautifully. I eat it right now. I know, I know. All right, here's all, this is what we call the money, the money shot. Dying. You got to do a little more. Oh yeah. I mean, if the truck stops, it's, it's yeah, literally. I would be swimming in gravy if I were at I ninety right now. The truck stop. Yep. <laughs> okay, that should do. I mean, that. Wow, Chris. Oh, no. you got yours. All right. I'll do it. I'll All do right. it. Yeah, I am. I just. Oh, look at y'all. Look, look, look. We have members of our family that little are going to be so mad. They are. The... <laughs> I they know who you're talking about. They request it on a regular basis, and I love making it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just showing everybody. Look at this gravy. That is the perfect ratio, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's sausagey, but it's oh, good. Wow. All right, I'm, all right. We I can't, can't wait any longer. Okay. Oh, those biscuits. Oh, oh they're so. Good. Wesley doesn't like to use a knife. No, so I don't. Only have a I fork. You, that a fork is fine. These oh, biscuits are so soft and crumbly. Oh. Know, <gasps> okay, hold on. I just gotta make a mess because that's what biscuits and gravy is all about. Mm. I know. This all right. Is, this is. This is insane. I mean, was there ever a combination other than maybe you and me that was more perfect together? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage and gravy, um, biscuits and gravy just make me like Are like Chris and Wesley. Um, perfect together. Oh, I have to have another bite, y'all. I know. This I'm is so good. Um, I need a shovel. <laughs> wow, y'all. The homemade biscuits. Those are amazing. I'm, sp I, I'm speechless. This is 100,000% Lunar Proof. Yay. It's one of my favorite all time. And we don't eat it often. Because, no, because, because we'd be like, yeah. <laughs> but it's so good. It's so, it's one of those, spe it's oh. great on like holiday morning. Oh. When you want to treat your family to something special, mm. you could double the recipe for the biscuits and, and feed everyone. Wow, mm. that's a wow factor. That mm. flavor is mm. mind-blowingly good. All right, we love yeah. you so much. Make biscuits and gravy, open up a truck yeah. stop, and you'll become <laughs> millionaires, I promise you. We're dumping a truck stop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Loon truck stop. Oh, no, the loon stop. All right, bye everybody, we love you.